Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha and if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. Today I'm going to be updating you guys on my Panlo's eyeshadows. First off, I do have one eyeshadow that I'm going to be rolling out finally. It's been in here, I've been in this project since the first like round of eyeshadows. <coughs> That's this pink shimmery shade right here. Um, called Zuba, and this is in my Magic Mini palette by Juvia's Place. So, I did finally hit pan on that shadow. I'm kind of glad that I can roll something in that I'm done with that eyeshadow for now. So, I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six eyeshadows, and then I have a replacement for the shade rolled out. So, I'm going to start with the another eyeshadow that has been in this project from the very beginning. This is in my Tiny Marvels palette in the shade Death Moth. This is a muted brown eyeshadow. I've actually been using this um, to fill in my eyebrows. Um, I really like that, but I did purchase another eyebrow pencil. So when I'm done with the eyebrow pencil, pencil I have, I will probably go back to putting Death Moth in my eyebrows. I think it looks really nice. So that's the plans for that one. Next, I have a shade in my Glam Light Viva Taco palette. It is the shade Onions. I do have quite a bit of a dip going in this one don't know if you can really see it. I could see me using or hitting pan in this sh shade um, before my next update. Um, that is my goal. Um, I've never hit pan in a, well, that's a lie. I have hit pan in my uh, burger palettes from Glam Light in their shimmer shades. Um, so I don't think there's a ton left in this pan before I hit pan, if that makes any sense. Um, moving right along, I have a shade in my The Nubian 2. This is also a Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette. And this is the Ya, yeah, Yeo shade. <laughs> I'm horrible at pronouncing things, and yeah, so we're just gonna forgive that. I actually have not reached for this eyeshadow. I don't know why. It is beautiful. But that's what it looks like. I have not reached for it. Um, I would like to change that because I know this is going to be pretty difficult to hit pan or take a while to hit pan on, I should say. Because it did take me a while <clears throat> to hit pan on the uh, two shades in the Magic Mini that I hit pan on. And those were smaller pans. I don't know if these pans, since they are larger, if they have as much product in them as the Magic Mini one. Let's see. I should be able to look on the back and tell. So this one has... Mm, 8.84 ounces. I'm not sure if that's the whole palette. I should have probably looked at this before I started filming, so I, I, I do apologize. And this one has 1.58 ounces. I don't know if that is per eyeshadow or the entire palette. I don't know. But... Anyway, uh, I do feel like these will take a little bit longer to pan. That was the point in that. Um, moving on, I have a shade in my Glam Light Street Taco palette. So both of my taco palettes are actually in this project right now. And I am working on the shade Picante. It is this beautiful bright orange. I love this shade. That's what that looks like. 
very happy to have this in this project. Um, been creating some nice looks with that. I don't see me getting panned on that anytime soon, though. I have two eyeshadows in my Sugar Drizzle Paint Me Green and Call Me a Pickle palette. The first one is mm, Dill Pickle. This one right here. So beautiful. It is a dull chrome, multi-chrome. I can never tell the difference, to be honest, until I actually, like, apply them. But it is so beautiful. The camera is definitely not doing the shade justice. It's just gorgeous. So there's that. I actually had to repress that shade it, when I got it after I ordered it in the mail. Um, it actually came broke, so I had to repress it. Um, that's why it looks a little different from the rest of them. And then I also have Dr. Pickle. This is a matte green shade, which I have used a few times this month. It's this deeper green here, which I love green eyeshadow. You guys know that if you've been following me for a while. And then the shadow that I rolled in, I used my random wheel generator. And it has all of the eyeshadows that I have not hit pan on in a spreadsheet. And I have the numbers on my wheel. And I spin the wheel and then I take that number and look what eyeshadow it is. Um, the eyeshadow that I pulled this time is a single from Copacetic Cosmetics. I have quite a few single eyeshadows from them and Dandelion Co. Um, but this one is a Copacetic Cosmetic eyeshadow in the shade Bonfire. Let me try to get a clean, clean finger swatch. Don't know if that's going to be possible, but we're going to try. Oh, that's pretty. And... Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. I could see that pairing very well with the Picante shade. Um, <clears throat> I really like that. I can see pairing it with Picante and even Death Moth to create a really pretty look. I'm going to probably have to try that. Um, I will say I know with Copacetic Cosmetics, it does take me a while to hit pan. <coughs> um... I do apologize. I'm pretty sure I have a sinus infection uh, because of the, my allergies have been flaring up because even though it's not quite spring, it's pollen season. Um, but yeah, this is a beautiful shade. Can't wait to get some use out of this. This will be going in my magnetic, magnetic palette um, with my Dude You Pan My Eyeshadow. Dude You Pan My Battleship eyeshadow singles that I'm working on as well um so that's that if you are doing pan those eyeshadows or pan that palette this year I would love to know what you're currently working on if you like this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe it really does help out my channel and I really do appreciate you guys and I'll see you in the next one bye